morning all. Here we are in Rwanda, heading off to the Chimon Sea trekking at Nyungwe National Park. It is literally 4.30 in the morning. We're trekking off. It's going to be an epic day, hopefully. Got our coffee, ready to go. finally made it to our starting point for the trekking so we're heading off now to see the chimpanzees in Nyungwe National Park. It took a bit of a trek to get here but uh, finally found our guide and our porter who's helping to carry all our stuff and we're finally going into the forest and uh, see how we get on. So thank you uh, Jean-Pierre is my name. Yeah, I'm going to be your guide in the chimpanzee tracking. Nyungwe is one of, is one of four parks you have here in Rwanda, uh, which is located in the southwest of the country. Uh, instead of Rwanda, to cover 1,018 kilometers square. We have 13 primate species. We have 340 uh, bird species. So about um, the mammals have about 85 mammals. So in Nyungwe, we even do the different activities where we do uh, the nature walk, we do the canopy, we do the network, and even uh, the, the tracking. And also now we are going to do the chimpanzee tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, uh, in Nyungwe, we have about uh, 500 chimps, okay. uh, but, okay. but, uh, but they live in uh, the different communities. Yeah. And now we are going to do the Maya community. Okay. It is the biggest one where it is composed about uh, uh, over 60 chimpanzees. They live on 60 kilometers square. Oh wow! Okay. So, which means sometimes yeah. uh, we can see it uh, very easy, uh, yeah. difficult, and, and more difficult. Sometimes yeah. we even lose it. Our forest is big. Yeah. Uh, which means the community have here. Yeah. Uh, 60 kilometers square, as I said. Yeah. Another chimpanzee. They, they also have another four territories. So. Not many chimpanzees like to attack no. another one. They like to take the territory. Just walked into a massive cobweb. <laughs> Not a good start. More of those to come, I think. Make sure we've got enough gear with us. Yeah, I can't believe the amount of stuff that we're taking. There's no way we could have carried it ourselves. Purely the fact that we have no idea how far we're going to be walking. It could be three, it could be four hours, we don't really know. So you kind of need help to help get your stuff in. And out again. Bring clothes and shoes that you don't mind getting ruined. Going deep into the forest now. I thought it was pretty easy but now it's going to get a bit tougher. It was raining pretty heavy yesterday so it's pretty wet underfoot which means it can be quite slippy. You have to be very careful how we tread. Um, is this like a rainy season now or is it like um, this is the rainy season? Yeah amazing. Yeah really incredible. So we've got Lake Kivu in the distance there. We've got the mist in the forest where the title of the film gorillas in the mist comes from i'm pretty sure oh cool that's the making a noise that's pretty smart isn't it yeah checking out the birds in africa turned on my anti-cobweb device my arm okay so we're pretty deep into the forest now um, it's pretty wet underfoot, which is to be expected because it is the wet season. It's still walkable. I mean, it is quite damp and it's quite slippy. Uh, it was raining pretty heavily yesterday night, so there's a reason why it's pretty heavy going now. But it doesn't mean it's not uh, walkable. I mean, you can do it in the wet season. Just make sure that you've got the right footwear and the right clothing and everything. So it's not a problem. I don't think the permit uh, prices and charges um, are different in the different seasons. So I think you're just gonna pay the same. So that's probably worth bearing in mind. It's not gonna be any difference price-wise. Rwanda is a lot more expensive than Uganda and Congo. The time of year you do stuff in Africa has a big impact on your overall experience. So it's worth checking the seasons and making sure that uh, the place that you're going is right for the right season. now about quarter past seven. So the sun is now up, we've got nice daylight, um, but it's also worth bearing in mind that we're under the tree canopy. So it's always gonna be fairly dark. It's gonna block out a lot of the sun, even though it's uh, now broad daylight. It's worth bearing in mind when you pack your choice of cameras and lenses, you're gonna be in fairly dark conditions. Getting through, there's a few patches here, you can see, but we have no idea where the chimpanzees are gonna be. 
So they could be under a thick canopy or they could be out in a clearing. Bring your absolutely fastest lenses that you can. Okay, so it's possible that we found where the chimpanzees are. steep bit here hopefully they're up here it's possible that we found them yeah sounds pretty serious on the guys walkie-talkie of course these are habituated chimpanzees so they're used to humans being near them they're not used to human contact but used to humans being close to them wow it's pretty tough going getting through this section of the forest flying chimpanzees. So it's possible that we're actually quite close now. Up here there's a monkey. Uh -huh. You see the monkey? There's a small monkey. Monkey already. He's a monkey, he's not chimpanzees. So we found some monkeys. Which monkeys are these? Silver monkeys. Fortunately, they don't have the lens or the camera ready, but I think we'll get another opportunity. We've just met up with another guide. He basically operates deep in the forest. So he's tracking the chimpanzees. So he's in communication with our guide. Hopefully a little bit closer now. It's been, it's been about an hour and 15, maybe an hour and a half, walking through this dense forest. The longer we're trekking, the more kind of fuel we're burning. We want to be reasonably fresh for we're actually photographing the chimpanzee, so ideally you don't really want to be trekking more than about an hour and a half, two hours. If you're fit and in good condition, then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so we know where they are, but we're going to trek a bit further because the family is moving in kind of this direction. So we're going to move kind of ahead of them. Um, I guess they're kind of feeding, foraging, or whatever it is they're doing. Um, but they're kind of on the move. So we're going to try and walk ahead of them and then try and capture them then. What an adventure. So we trekked about another 15, 20 minutes, try and get ahead of the chimpanzees. Just met up with the tracker. He's just met up with our guide and I think he's going to lead us in. We've got a full hour with them, you see. We'll try and get as far in front of them as possible. Hopefully we're almost there because it's been a pretty exhausting trek so far. Camera work there. Good friend Thomas here to help carry the massive all of his cannon equipment. and this massive lens. See him there, he's just a big big ball of fur stuck in the tree. There's one chimpanzee up in the tree at the moment, so we're getting some really nice shots here. Every now and again he turns over, he turns around and looks at us, which is pretty cool. We found the chimpanzees, uh, we found one who was kind of very high up in the tree. <sighs> Difficult to get a clear shot. So, moving to another one, see if we can get a better shot, a uh, clearer view. So we found two chimpanzees, but they're quite high up in the trees. So we're just gonna wait patiently for them to try and come down. Thank you. 
Thank you. My head off. You do this every day? Blimey. These guys do this every single day. You know, some, some very strong people. <laughs> yeah, it's the toughest people in the world. <laughs> okay, so good. Yes. I, I can ask you one question. So how many chimpanzees do you think we do, do this so? Uh, I think we saw four. Yeah, yeah, four. Four different ones, yeah. Yeah. Mm, the chimpanzees we did now, which is a Maybe community, uh, as I said, so it is composed of over 60 chimpanzees. The reason why the chimpanzees they like uh, to, to do the small group according yeah. to the quantity of food which is available. So that is why they always here like for. And then the tracker they choose for last the chimpanzees which is uh, near. Uh, from 0 to 20 years, they look black on the back, but when they stay up to uh, over 21, mm. uh, they start getting, uh, they, they start changing to the greyish. Yeah, I think so. That. Yes. And also, there's another thing maybe you didn't recognize uh, the chimpanzee, the difference in color to the face. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's chimpanzee look pinkish on the face, and also, another chimpanzee look black. But all of them, they're born with a pink face. Okay. Yeah, but uh, like after uh, uh, three months, the chimpanzees start changing. Uh, they are omnivore, but most of the time they spend their time for eating leaves and fruit. Yeah. Although sometimes they can e e even eat mushrooms, honey. So, and also sometimes it is not usual. They can even go to hunting hunting monkeys. So alpha mm -hmm. male is a dominant mm -hmm. male uh, who, who who read in the group. Okay. Also, chimpanzees sleep in the nest. The nest in, in the top of the trees. I think you saw some. I was nesting. So chimpanzees they do nest every day. Every time they want to sleep. Okay. Which means it never used a nest twice. When he want, when they want, they can renew. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, they do the new nest. Get you from a different angle. And now I'm still in there. Absolutely lovely <laughs> shattered. What a day! How are you feeling back there? Feeling good? Yeah, I've calmed down a bit since I've had a ant. Whole ant family attack me. <laughs> Dusty. Yeah, they're stuck in my socks and on my neck. I think you've got one on my shoulder. It's been a great experience making our way back to the vehicle. Um, very difficult to photograph chimpanzees and gorillas in this type of environment, but hopefully, we've got some really good shots. Um, we'll see what comes off the memory cards when we get back to the lodge. And overall, it's been an amazing experience. Absolutely exhausting. We're now being bitten by ants, so. We need to uh, get back to the car as quickly as possible. I think this one is like easy, moderate, hard, what we did uh, today. It's a moderate. 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 Yes, yeah. moderate okay. yeah. Yeah. Because when it is difficult, okay. Up and down, up and down. Yes. Yeah, cut, yeah, cutting the trees. Up. Yes, we didn't have too much cutting. with the position of the chimpanzee. So if they're deep into the forest, then we have to go a different way in, which is much uh, more challenging. The guide said this is like the moderate uh, trek. So there's a much harder trek than this. It goes, uh, it's more kind of up and downhill. Um, coming down now is a little bit tricky. So coming out, definitely not much easier than going in. Hooray, visualization.
into the jungle today. <laughs> what a mammoth day.